G'day, thanks for clicking on the link. In a second you're about to see a video that my patrons saw earlier this year. So if you want to see behind the scenes footage like this, early access to news, polls and more, a whole lot more, consider supporting me on Patreon, where from as little as $2.50 per month, you get all this and a lot more. G'day Patrons, it's Chris, and in this video I'm going to get my drone up to try and get the um, uh, big battery of Victoria and a little bit of footage. And I can see them over from over here, and um, they've still got their wraps on, but they're actually quite large. They are very, they're very tall, they're like seriously taller than I am, but I'm sure, but way taller than I am, like six foot something tall. Um, so I'm mighty impressed, but I've got a, a challenging <laughs> shoot. I've got high voltage overhead power cables and electromagnetic interference with drones and the controller is not a good thing. Um, the next thing is, it's gusty, up to 30 k's per hour. Drones should be okay, but it means I'm going to put it in sports mode, which will mean you probably see the propellers in the shots sometimes, but so be it. So the first thing is, I'm going to get the drone up, see if I can actually um, control it properly. I'm going to get it under these um, power cables, and then I will, once I'm past that, I'll probably feel more comfortable. So, let's, let's do this. So far so good, I'm getting no uh, warnings about electromagnetic interference. So, let's go. And I'm flying into the wind, which is always a good thing. So, basically, um, if ever you're uh, concerned about getting a drone back, you always fly into the wind first and then you fly away. Um, let's have a look, it's all right. Alrighty, there it is there. Now, let me just uh, double be doubly sure, I've got nothing above me, let's look up, okay, look up, um, oh I need to turn that on in the uh, mode, damn it, alright, I'm certain I'm way past the lines there, now let's just do a 360, that's behind me, yeah, power lines are to the right, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, <laughs> okay, so you can see over there, let's go up, I mean, very sure to stay off the private property. So you can see there's like a um, an interconnector, and there's a substation just uh, well to the north of the screen, northwest of the screen at the moment. Um, I will go around the boundary and I'll zoom in using the camera. And uh, so there's obviously like lots of plots there ready for uh, future uh, mega power backs. Uh, but um, the, on the right, we can clearly see there's actually some already there. But they've got the covers on. But let's get let's get a bit closer. Um, so I'm just going to side go sideways here. Because there's a little bit of zoom on the camera, I've got to be careful that I don't go over the land. Alright, 
Let's go around. Right, let's do this. Right, I'm definitely outside the boundary. I can see the fence quite clear in the bottom of my frame. Wow, let's go down lower, shall we? Let's um, change my spot. Let's go to the left. I think I'll get some, um, uh, what well, they call master shots. It's a very good idea. So, I guess it's kind of hard to see just exactly how big these things are. But they're actually quite big. Alright, I'm going to centre back around here, I reckon. That's probably a good starting point. Right, let's try that. So now I've just got to be thinking about that um, uh, security camera and light. Alrighty, and it's a way of doing droning. That's basically a zoom in and a pull out. Jesus, windy. The sound on this video is probably really bad, but apologies. Alrighty, so we'll look, where is it? We're good. So now it's going a bit of a circle far. So we're getting a nice little background there of the uh, uh, sub station. You know, it's it's currently only well 238 meters from me, but it looks so far away. And I love how this thing is just doing everything by itself. for hawks. It looks like there's a hawk there. They go after drones. No, no, it's a crow. <laughs> it's a crow. And we're gonna do a rocket. Alrighty. Cool. And then camera down and forwards. Oh, that's good. I um, decided to um, take over control. Well, and I wanted the camera to move rather, and actually exited the uh, master shop. So that's good. We're in 4K, so I think I can't get closer because otherwise I'd be over their property, and that's wrong. And I don't want to do that. Um, but you can get the idea of the things. I just pull back. <laughs> it was uh, positioned on the wrong thing. It angled down because I'm in sport mode. So we're just doing gentle movements on the sticks. Now 
much battery. Got 11 minutes left. Let's try some of these other modes. Come on, yeah, that's what we want. Now, the bazillion old question is, how's it gonna do the panorama? I'm unsure. Um, oh wow. So it's moving the camera very quickly, up, down, which I could record the screen, but today I'm actually um, recording just the 1080 footage that the camera produces. Maybe I'll try just one more master shot. I'll have enough battery, I think. Alrighty, processing, and it's done. All right, let's do. Alrighty, we're done with that. Let's go into master shots and let's go up higher. Alright, tilt it down a bit. There we go. Yep, good. Two minutes should be fine. It's so cold. It's 11 degrees. Things we do. You know, drone is done. That's looking good. I'm quite happy with that shot. What, what we say around B-roll peeps? You can never get enough B-roll. So impressed with this drone. I really am. Good time of day. And by the way, today I've got ND filter eight on it. Got eight minutes of flight left, 34% state of charge. All right, I'll do. Well, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Leave me a comment, ask me a question. I do look at them. And think about supporting me over there on Patreon. Otherwise, you'd be good, you'd be great.